Yo, what's going on y'all? This is your boy Haba, Nick, or not Haba, and I'm bringing you a brand new video here today. And in this one, I'm gonna be making the coolest, sickest, dopest feet I've ever made in my life. And that's just the vibe I'm on. Uh, gonna be a great week. Happy Monday to all of you out there. I hope I can help you get through the Monday blues if you're feeling that uh, on this fine day. It's snowing again here where I live, which is rough, but it's the way she goes, I guess. Uh, thank you for all the love recently. We are like, I think 30 something subscribers away from 300 subscribers. I feel like I just hit 200 like not long ago. So thank you so much for that. But with all that said, we are just gonna hop right into this video. All right, so for this one, I'm pulling out the uh, the Keyscape. Big surprise, I know. I'm gonna drop my BPM to, uh, no, I'm gonna up my BPM. We're gonna go to 153. And uh, I'm gonna start by just making like some chords. All right, so I like these chords. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Alt S and this is gonna strumize them just slightly. Like if you zoom in here, you can see they're slightly off grid now and that just makes it uh, sound a bit more realistic. And then, so now it sounds like this. So now I'm gonna start working on a top melody and I actually pitched it around and I am in the B minor scale now. So I'm just gonna start coming up with a pattern that I think sounds dope and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I ended up not liking those original chords I had. So I just deleted them and I redid it with chords that are sounding better to me at least right now. So I'm just gonna uh, strumize these and then continue working on, it, uh, on a melody. So I got this top melody here. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys hear it and then we're gonna mess with it a bit. So first I'm gonna press Alt R and randomize my velocities here. And then I'm gonna press Control A to select it all. And I'm just gonna move it down with the scroll wheel by holding Alt and scrolling on my mouse. Um, and then I'm gonna throw this on a mixer and this isn't really like the vibe I'm going for, so I'm gonna throw it onto halftime and see if I can get a different vibe. So I like this a lot more. Uh, all I did was just, it's just halftime default settings and I pitched my, uh, my melody up an octave by holding control and pressing up on the arrow key. Uh, and that's just because halftime pitches it down an octave and uh, I kinda wanna be in the, a similar frequency range to my original one, so that's why I pitched up. But, that sounds like this now. And I also pitched it down to A minor, uh, so we're in the A minor scale. So I'm gonna add some RC to this. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna actually keep the noise, but I'm gonna turn it way down. Mess with the EQ here, turn down this tone thing. I'm gonna widen it a touch. Then I'm gonna add some reverb. I know I do this to like all my piano melodies, but. And then uh, I'm gonna open up effect rack and I'm gonna just go through presets until I find something that I think sounds cool. So I found this ambient dotted eighth uh, delay. So I'm gonna use this. And then I just turned down the mix amount right here. And I did that with my uh, reverb too. And then I'm just gonna rename this track. And now that I have this, uh, now that I have this, I'm gonna look for stuff to layer it with. And I think I'm gonna go with a, uh, a classic In Memoriam 2. This is a very uh, popular sound. So I'm just gonna copy my thing here. And I'm gonna get rid of the top melodies. So it's just the chords. And then now that I have that, now that I have that, I'm gonna open up Prince and uh, I'm gonna look for a lead. Okay, so I think I got something. Uh, I'm gonna try to record it. And then uh, I'm just gonna quantize it with my snap on half beat. Quantize it by pressing Control Q. Just make sure this tail's cut off. Now uh, let's hear it. All 
All right, so I got the sound living sword and I just turned off the noise for it because it was kind of loud. And uh, so this is what that melody sounds like now. And I think I'm gonna come in here because this sounds pretty basic. Just kind of spice up a little bit. So I like this. Uh, I'm just gonna mess with the lead a little bit. So I'm gonna add this decapitator uh, guitar effect beefy G2. I don't really know exactly what it's doing, but it sounds cool. I like uh, the. Feels like it's adding more presence to it. And uh, so now I'm gonna look for a couple more things to just mess around with it. Okay, so it probably sounds a lot different than it did just a second ago. So what I did is I added this gross beat complex one and that made it sound like this. And then I added some reverb to really space it out. And then I added a fruity love filter because when I had it playing with the piano, it sounded a little overbearing. So I wanted to tuck it in the back and I did that by uh, taking this knob, it starts right here, and I just bring it down to the bottom left somewhere. I mean, you can put it up here, over here. Whatever sounds good to you, this just sounded good to me. And my reverb settings are just this, like literally basic settings. I just adjusted this knob right here. And uh, so now, in now this is what it sounds like with all the other melodic pieces. And I think that sounds really cool. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate over all my patterns, so they're just eight bar patterns. Now, uh, I'm gonna add a sub bass, because I think it would sound good. You guys know I love the Growler Moog sub bass. It sounds friggin' amazing, in my opinion. And I'm just gonna grab my root notes. Easy as that, and I'm gonna just pitch it down an octave. Nope, I'm gonna leave it up. And I'm gonna just turn it down a little bit. I'm gonna throw all these on the mixer and just make sure I like the mix on it. Yep, I uh, I think that sounds good. I'm not gonna add anything else to the melody. Uh, I'm just gonna start on drums, because I think this is a very, uh, very solid melody. So I'm gonna throw my pattern onto the playlist here and just start adding drums. I'm gonna start with a clap. Just duplicate it over, eight bars. Now I'm gonna grab a hi-hat. I've really been vibing with this Roses one recently. Now I'm just gonna leave a two-step right now because I'm gonna add my 808 and then I'll go back to the hi-hat. I'm not gonna go with the spins for right now. I'm gonna go with the Zay. And all I'm doing, just following my root notes. That's how you make sure your 808s are in key in tune uh, and how you know they're gonna sound good. So I'm gonna take these notes right here cause I already know they're too low and I'm gonna throw them up an octave and uh, now I'm gonna start on my pattern. I'm literally just gonna do that for a pattern. Super simple, but effective. So now I'm gonna come in here and I add some rolls and stuff to my hi-hats. So I like this pattern. Yeah, I like that a lot. So I'm gonna grab an open hat. I think I'm just gonna add it for the first clap or before the first clap. Actually, I don't think this kick needs a or this beat needs a kick. I'm gonna go with this for a snare pattern. Basic but effective. I'm gonna add this little perk in. Just add a slight touch. Now I'm gonna mix all this out and then uh, I'm gonna lay it out and we'll be on our way. All right, so I got it all mixed out. Uh, I'm just gonna throw it on the playlist, duplicate it over and start on my arrangement. All right, so I'm all done with the arrangement here. Uh, I'm going to play it 
as I'm explaining it, and uh, then I'll get out of here. So for the intro here, we got the piano and the bell, and then my tag's about to come in. And then for the intro here, I brought in the sub bass. And then I have a riser as you can see here and it's about to drop into the hook. So for the hook, I have all my sounds except the sub bass. And for the second half, I get rid of the bell layer just because it's been there the whole time. But all the drums still here for the full hook. And then I added this little break here. You just cut on that clap. So the clap hits, it all cuts out. And then I added this and I'd like to explain this a little bit more. Um, if you want to know how I did it. So I'm just going to play it again and let you guys listen and I won't talk through it this time. And then I'll explain what I did. Okay, so what I did is, like I said before, I took the cut tool, and if you hold shift and you right click, I mean, you don't have to hold shift, but if you don't, then it like goes all crazy. But if you hold shift, it stays in a straight line. And uh, what this is gonna do, so like, let's say I did it here, it's gonna just cut out whichever side is shorter. So like, uh, if I did it here, I did a cut, and then I went like that, it's gonna cut that, because that side's shorter. If I do that, it's going to cut that because that side's shorter. But, um, so I do that cut on the clap, and that's just to kind of tell the listener, like, okay, it's going to switch up a little bit. We're going into the first. And then for the beginning here, what I did, so my pattern would normally look like this. And then these drums would also be extended all the way out to here. And that would sound like this. You know, it's the same pattern, uh, but I wanted to add some flavor. So I made a cut all the way down to this amount. And I normally just look at like two of the little lines on the grid. I don't know exactly what they're called, um, but I do that. And then I just duplicate it over once. And then I just duplicate it over again, but in a different spot. And uh, and then I did that with the melody as well. So I actually messed that up. Uh, I do it <laughs> to this length. Uh, sorry about that. That was kind of ridiculous. So it it's uh it's a full bar. That's what it is. That's yeah. We're, we're thinking out here this morning, but uh, yeah, so I do that and then you'll notice my 808's also cutting off as soon as like, like listen. See how it cuts off as soon as this is ended there. So what I did, what I didn't do with my original pattern, but I went back and did, is if you come on here, uh, let's just say all my notes were like this. If you press control L, it's gonna lengthen, lengthen them all so they're all touching. And then uh, if you come and you click on your 808 and you go to this little thing here and uh, I mean, I don't know exactly what all these were set at and stuff, but let's just say it looks something like this and this might have been it. I don't know. Uh, if you just turn down the attack, turn up the hold and literally everything other than the hold, you turn all the way down it's going to only play the 808 for your length of your notes. So like if my pattern was like this. Okay, that's not a good example because we're at a bad spot. Uh, so we'll go right here and I'll, I'll show you. See how it cuts off as soon as the note's done? So uh, that's how you do that if you didn't know. Um, so that's how I did that on that cut part right there and then other than that i just added like this little break on the second half of the verse just to mix it up you know just little ear candy like that and also for the second half of the verse i got rid of the lead and i went up here to this little piano icon and if you click make unique you can change this pattern all you want 
want and it won't affect your other patterns and all i did was just eliminate the top melody and just leave the chords um so the second half of the verse or so i'm just going to replay the verse again so you can hear the first half with that break and then the second half and all that and then i'll wrap it up from there <laughs> So I get rid of the lead, I simplify the piano melody for the second half of the verse. And then I made all my sounds cut off at the clap again, and it's gonna go into the bridge, which is the exact same as my intro. Um, whoops, control D to deselect that. And then another riser, and it just goes back into the same thing, and I just repeated it uh, three times total, but for the last one, I only kept the hook right here and then I just pulled the first part of my hook over here so there's kind of like an outro type part but yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I hope you did learn something if you did please leave a like and comment down below let me know what you learned let me know what you liked let me know what you dislike constructive criticism is always welcomed over here uh, and subscribe come along the journey to 8 trillion subscribers this is your boy Nick Haba or Nahaba and I'm out. Peace. Skirt.